and sleep. When I'm saying this thing, some of you will think I'm joking. A lot of young men are committing fornication and adultery, even old men. Pastors! If you are a pastor, you are, look, you are committing, you, you, you have to repent now or your crown will be taken from you. Some of the problem is that some of these people have labored genuinely. But a season has come, and that season has transited them out because of the kind of lifestyle that they began to live. So God will anoint you, and when He anoints you, you know the anointing makes you attractive. Yeah? Even if you are not handsome. If you are anointed, you will become attractive. All the ladies will be flocking to you. They will say, eh, what is it about you you don't like? Eh? Eh? Who will I ask? What is it about you you don't like? Eh? You know, Papa. <laughs> he, said, he said, I know. And I think I know. Hmm? That thing you don't like. People, when the anointing comes, strong one. Ladies will say that that's, that's, that's what they now like about you. The same thing you say you don't like. They will now say that's what they like. That they like the way you are like angolo fish. Like this. Is the anointing. You don't know what I stay there now. I said I went to a meeting, and a lady said fire was falling, fire, raw fire, and not one lady, two, and I think is more, but it's the people that were able to get across to me. Said that what they like is my smile. You are not with me. The fire is falling, they left fire, and they, they are looking. They said, My smile is heavenly, that is is handsome, is attractive. Man of God, you are in trouble. Because, are you with me? Because if you follow that, eh? if you are the one, you will say, say the truth. There is a young man, I blocked him on WhatsApp. Probably he's, he will hear me. He's chatting with a young lady, he's pastoring. Eh? And the young lady is saying, Pastor, be serious. Pastor, be serious. And he's in Pastor, be serious with his member, a lady. And he sent it to me and, and said, uh, uh, look at what is happening. Oh, these people are tempting me. I was in fasting. So my heart is down. I was too weak to respond. You see, I know that young boy is a young boy. So how I would have handled him is like my younger brother. I would have given him a dirty slap. Small boys of 20, 21, 22. Just because they are past. You see, there are some things. Huh? Slap it out of that person, my friend. I know you don't like this, my message. Hey, delete this part. But some people will never hear. They need to be kicked into heaven. Are you hearing what I'm saying? He said, look at, she's tempting me. Pastor God's love, be serious. My friend, the gates of hell it has opened to you. You see, I keep saying it. You can't. The journey is still long, but you can't survive this far. I've survived without being able to know this one, because some of them, some of them, some of those ladies can come under anointing, and then sometimes the anointing will leave, and they will be normal spiritual sisters. So you can't chase them away. You need to know when the anointing came on them. Don't answer. Sometimes when they do it, you say, hey, what's this? My friend. They will say, I don't like that brother. He doesn't, he doesn't, all the time he'll be doing, he doesn't. Your crown is waiting for you. Your crown. 
for being able to do that, your crown, say after me, your crown. Sometimes his sisters, they will say you are too stiff. You are too stiff. She's even walking like this. In our language, that is what they call Mobara. There is Ezibo Maden Mobara. You know what is Mobara is this wooden knife. Basapa, they will collect the real knife you have and give you Mobara. Wooden knife. And you now be carrying it and enter warfare with Mobara. Wooden knife. That's the day you will find out that some that small thing you did is enough to disqualify you. He said, is it by just a hog? Just a hog, just a peck. Say after me, just a peck. Raymond, look at me, Oga. Just a peck. A hog. After the hog, you have not recovered for one year. Just a hog. They say it's a peck, just a peck. <laughs> Mumu, you. Something is telling you don't do it. But the pressure was not, and you don't want to feel like Mumu. I'm telling you what I passed through. I have not passed through it. A group of ladies have gathered, ganged up against me, and said, and said, I'm a homosexual. I mean spiritual sisters. Do you, do you know the reason why? Because I know the touch. I know touch. I didn't tap current. They all switched for me. Me, I did not know. Are you saying you don't know what it means to on switch? They all switch and say, Oga, tap current. Oga, Oga, Oga. Me, I was going for drive fasting. I was, I was doing all my, I was not seeing the same. You are a lesbian. You are you are a homosexual. One even told me, let me leave. Let me leave. Even some guys mounted pressure on me. They said, ah, the way the way you are behaving, pray you. You are a virgin. It's only virgin that behave like this. You have not slept with many women. If you are slept, you should bash up waka. See, I'm not saying that if you are not a virgin, you're this thing also, but um if you are one, it is precious before God. Listen to me. Don't allow people to fool you. I said this to some people. Somebody was countering me. I did not say. There are some, there are some callings you are not qualified for. What they are doing now for you is damage control. Because of the kind of life you lived is damage. After me, damage control. What is keeping you is probably your sister's intercession or your mother's intercession. You have done too many bad things. You will not hear me until, even if God calls you, there is a point you get to your calling, your past will start calling for you. Yes, that's what, that's what destroyed A.A. Allen. Or rather, that's the challenge he had. Huh? His past came calling. Many people. There is a man now in America, he's a worship leader, one of the foremost worship leaders. He suffered homosexual abuse when he was younger. He's a black guy. You will know him. Huh? You know him, right? You know he has reverted back to it. Yes. Because that thing he suffered has not left him. He said, God has forgiven. He has forgiven you. Keep, keep doing. Some people, they, they are weak. They are, any guy that touch you, you fall like basket. Hey! The problem with that is that if God now starts using you, it will start calling. Huh? You cannot resist guys that are tall and handsome. Satan will set them in your congregation. That's what Catherine Kuman said. She, she has to die a thousand deaths. Do you know why? She likes handsome young men. Have you not read that book? How many of you have read it? I hope you know that was her problem. She likes handsome guys. So the price she now has to pay for that was not to marry again. 
It's not as if she shouldn't marry, but her there is a loss. There is she has not. She decided the best way to deal with this thing is to cut off the link permanently. Are you getting the point to if you like be living anyhow? Be saying it doesn't matter. Eh? There is a mighty man of God. Do you know how he ended? He now slept with a lady, and the person has HIV. And he died. An anointed man died with HIV. Hmm? Continue saying it doesn't matter. Until they batter you. Batter you. Meanwhile, God is telling you that four of your children will be signs to a generation. Huh? And then you are living anyhow, and then they cut off your womb. Hmm? Mm. So when they now cut off your womb, meanwhile, God told you four of your generation. Will it happen? You will now be crying for God. I need a miracle. I need a miracle in my life. I need a miracle in my life. I need a miracle in my life. Some of them will come here. If I have not, if the pastor didn't succeed in doing miracle for them, you are not powerful. Man of God, don't kill yourself for those people. They intentionally messed up their life. And then if you are if you have not quickly done anything for them, then you are not anointed. Yes, let me not be anointed. When I was warning you to live a life that doesn't a life of principle will reduce too much grace, grace for miracles. Are you hearing me? Can you pray for one minute and ask the Lord? Let this thing I heard enter my spirit. Can you pray? You are not praying. We just did introduction. Tomorrow, I will show you the secrets.